What's up, SEO pros? Welcome back. Chase Renner here, and I have some awesome news today. One, because we're going to be working on a website that we finally established a baseline for, meaning that all the tracking is set up correctly, and that means we can get started on the implementation. So before I go into that, though, I also want to mention that we now have a new feature in our Shine Ranker tool, which if you don't have Shine Ranker, you can go grab it. Uh, free trial if you haven't tried it out for um, 10 days at shineranker.com. But the new feature actually allows you to use AI to generate blocks of unique text. And I actually just did this a second ago. Let me share my screen with you so you can see this. If we, oh, browser can't access your screen, try capturing, oh, that's weird. Can't access my screen. Hmm, never seen that before. Um, try capturing, what the heck? I've never seen that before on here. Let me, um, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. Give me one second. See if I can. Oh, I'm not really sure what to do here. It's never done that. What's going on, everyone in chat? We got Jeannie. How you doing? Jefferson. Azim. What's up, Caesar? What's up, Bill? Good to see you guys. Um, I don't know what to do right now. I've never had this issue before. We uh, basically, I was about to show you the new feature, and it's telling me that I can't show you. And I don't really know why, unless maybe I have a different, oh, you know what? I had FaceTime open. Let me see if I can do it now. Share screen. Nope, still not letting me do it. Hmm. Let me go into here. I guess I'm going to have to test this in advance next time. Give me just one second. Um, Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to share my screen. And I don't know what to do about that. Let me see if I can just share the window. Window, Chrome tab, Shine Ranker. Okay, I guess I can share the window. Can you guys see this? Oh, I guess you can. Hmm. Not sure why it's letting me share the window. It's not letting me share my full screen. So hopefully you can still see this, but here we have the content editor. Now what we can do uh, with this new capability with AI, we can go into um, one of the keywords that we need. So like, let's say we wanna talk about marketing strategies. We just plug that in up here, click generate, and it's gonna generate us a block of unique text. And I just checked uh, some of this on Copyscape and we had a 0% uh, plagiarism score, which is very cool. So here we go. Here's some of the text. One of the best uh, marketing strategies for B2B company can, uh, for a B2B company can be to leverage the power of social media. So we copy that. Let's go plug it into here. And as we can see, uh, completely unique. Cool. Isn't that cool? So now um, when it comes to, oh, you can't see Copyscape because it's only on my one window, of course. Uh, let me go to Copyscape so you can see this. Go into here. And there you go, no results found. So we got a completely brand new uh, addition to the tool. Um, as you know, we already have a bunch of other cool stuff in the tool like uh, the the content editor that allows you to optimize for the averages that are on Google, um, the keyword research, all that good stuff. But now we finally have the AI implemented. So now you can just generate as much text as you want that's unique and get these scores raised up. So um, we're actually gonna be working on, a, on, on our client's website today. And I might have to reboot this because I don't know if I can do this without being able to share my screen um, fully, I would, I would like to be able to do that, but I don't know if it's going to let me do that today. 
Um, browser can't access your screen. Try capturing a different screen. That's really disappointing. Um, hmm. I might have to reboot this. Um, I wonder if I can just exit. Let me actually join with my phone. I'm going to try to reboot my um, browser really quick. <laughs> Sorry about the technical difficulties here, but isn't that cool? And you can um, now you can jo uh, join and try it out uh, on shineranker.com. Go check it out. Um, Oh, you know what though? It might not be deployed yet. I think that's on the test. So if you don't see it in your account yet, don't worry. It'll be there very soon. Um, let me just got to troubleshoot this. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, I'm, I'm closing out my browser and I'm trying to relaunch this really quick just to see if I can do it now. StreamYard. Is the AI feature live? Um, like I said, I think it's in dev, dev right now. So um, we're just waiting on it to get pushed live and then it should be live. Oh, I can hear you. Awesome. New feature of the Shine Ranker. Yep. Okay, now my computer's not even restarting. It's just one of these days. Look, can you continue restarting? Quit mail. Okay, now it's restarting. <laughs> What's up, Will? Good to see you. Muted. I should be fine now, right? You should be able to hear me now. Yeah, it's been kind of one of those mornings for some reason. I don't know what it is. It just seems like everything I'm trying to do just isn't working. Um, all right. Give me one second. Yeah, I've never had this problem before. Hey, is selling SEO services easier to for me to make ten thousand dollars PayPal profit per day in passive income for me to afford my own villa? I feel like this is a total troll question. Um. Okay, I think I can try it now. Let's see if it works. Okay, it works, sweet. Gosh, that was annoying. All right, now we can get started. So let me turn this off. We should be good. All right, so let's go. I, I'm gonna have to go find those tabs again, unfortunately. Um, grab these. I had everything set up on my browser, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Here we go, grab that. One second. Um, Okay. Okay, so we got this. Let me get in the analytics. So I'll show you what I got here. If 
We're gonna to go to conversions, goals, overview. So if we filter by the um, call from biz, call from website, because we find we set up previously, we set up the call tracking. Now what you can see here is we look if we look at the call from website, you can see we have about a 2.4% conversion rate, which means that 2% of the people going to the website are actually calling. So our job now that we're like on phase two, we want to um, raise this conversion rate up. Okay, so that should be pretty easy uh, with the stuff that we're gonna do today. Um, so let's go do that. We're gonna go to Pro Garden Supply and we have all of the pages mapped here. So we got all the different keywords we wanna go for. So we're gonna go log in. Um, does installing analytics help with SERP rankings? I don't think so, no. Um, figuring out how your pages are performing and then optimizing them if they're doing poorly because of the stuff you're seeing in analytics is gonna probably help you rank higher, so. All right, we're gonna enable the visual builder. So hopefully they don't get mad if I change up this design a little bit, but we're gonna go and, I like to have a big sort of header like this. So we're gonna do, I don't know if they have that in Divi. Let's do regular specialty full width, probably full width, full width header, something like this, I guess. So the keyword is Santa Barbara nursery. So that changes it, right? Yeah, Santa Barbara nursery. And then this is the text. So now that we have the new AI feature in Shine Ranker, Let's go and set that up. So, sorry, I have to go back in all these tabs because of the problems this morning. Um, Divi looks terrible to work on. I know, I hate Divi. Give me one second. I just got to grab this login and then we are good to go. Okay. All right, so if we go to the content editor, we're gonna go um, type in, what was it? Santa Barbara Nursery. Plug that in, click on content editor. Chase, I have a client with low authority score. Will that affect how long it will take to rank? It can. It, de it, it really depends on the keywords you're targeting and who you're competing with. Like if you're competing with easy keywords, um, if you're competing with medium or difficult keywords, it just depends on the competition. Because a lot of the time, if they're easy, um, you're not going to really have a problem. I've took on a new SEO client. They're getting next to zero traffic. How would you start to drive traffic? Um, how would I start to drive traffic? Uh, I would do SEO. Right. Okay. So keyword Santa Barbara nursery. Let's see if, how this goes here. Again, this is a brand new feature. So I haven't, this is like the third time I've tried it. We'll see how good of content we can get. The Santa Barbara nursery has been around for over a hundred years. It is family owned. Okay. So let's grab that and let's see. It brought the content score up, which is cool. Let's go check CopyScape. Make sure. Okay, passes Copyscape. Um, just try this for now. Put that here. Boom. So I'm going to say our, oops, our Santa Barbara nursery has been around for over 100. We're not going to say that for, I think it's 10 years or something. We'll just do that for over 10 years. It is a family owned business that specializes in palm suck, uh, we'll just say, fruit trees, succulents, and annuals. I don't know what that is um, and more. The nursery is open all, all year round and has many different species of plants as well as a large selection of pots and decorative items. Santa Barbara Nursery is 
family owned business. Oh, let's take that. So you can see there is a little bit of reoccurring here. Um, so we might need to figure out how to stop that from happening. Let's go put this back in here. And now let's do, um, what are some other things we wanna talk about? What, um, oh, we can just take some of the related keywords here. So mulch, Santa Barbara, let's see how that goes. Mulch, Santa Barbara, generate. How do we get sample SEO services to show to clients that we are pitching? I would, um, if I were you, I would um, just check out the services I have on my Chase Reiner site and then um, just use those as a template because I don't care if you guys copy me because those are services that I sell like all the time, right? Um, okay. Okay. So let's see how this one does. Mulch Santa Barbara is a family owned and operated company that specializes in mulch. Mulch Santa Barbara carries a variety of mulch and soil, including pine. Okay, so it's giving us, but you can see it keeps repeating. So I'm gonna have to show the developer this. And it says the family owned thing again, which is weird. Um, so I'm just gonna take this part of it. We also carry a, Variety of mulch and soil, including medium, including pine, pine and hardwood mulch. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think we're gonna have some of this stuff. I mean, some of it's good, but it, it's kind of like it's kind of like the problem with any um, tool that uses AI. You you almost need to guide it a little bit more. Let's just do mulch. Let's just do um, something that's not. Let's just true, do like fruit trees instead of putting the location in it. So we're gonna do fruit trees, generate. I should have put why you should buy fruit trees. Let's do that one next. Um, I don't have generate on my copy of Shine. Yeah, so this is, we're, this is the beta test here, like the beta version. Um, okay, so it's giving us the history of fruit trees. Let's go and do, whoops. Let's go and do um, why you should buy fruit trees. Let's see how that goes. How would you, how you would charge based on results? Um, I just do based on um, uh, based on um, deliverables. I don't do it based on results. Fruit trees play a huge part in a healthy diet. They're full of. They also. So this is talking about eating fruit trees. Yeah, so I think the AI still needs a little work because it seems like it's a little weird. Um, let's just do, I wonder if we phrase it as a question, if it would work better. So let's just go like this and then look up people also ask. And scroll down here. Okay, so best, Best Nursery, Santa Barbara Native Plant Nursery, Wholesale. We need like the questions. Here, let's do answer the public. See if we can get some questions. Don't know if local works for this, but we'll try. Bartoon, what's up? Hi, everyone. I use Word, uh, WordPress for website creation. Do you have any page builders that you'd recommend? Um, so I don't really use WordPress. Uh, most of the time I usually use like Duda or Squarespace just because it's easier. But um, when I was using WordPress, I was using Divi. All right. So let me grab. I almost think it's better to break the questions up into like, like if you're going to be talking about local, just have the key, the question be around the actual, just the location. Santa Barbara nursery plants. Let's do. Hmm. Nursery plants for sale. 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Wait a second. So it's for some reason it's keeping track. Okay. So this is what I think the issue is. It's for some reason keeping track of the last thing we asked, because look, it just said Santa Barbara nursery, but we didn't say anything about Santa Barbara. So I think we're going to have to tell the devs to somehow clear the past results. I wonder if I open up a new instance over here and just type in, oh, you see how it's already populated. I wonder if it's going to do the same thing. <clears throat> Let's see, let's see. Okay, see, now it just did us it did a different thing. So this is actually good. Because it didn't say anything about Santa Barbara. A nursery is a facility that specializes in the production of plants and flowers. Nurseries are often found in one in the out in the country away from the pollution of the city. Nurseries provide a place for many plants to grow and be sold. Okay, so that works. Check this out really quick. So no, no plagiarism. At least we have no plagiarism on a lot of this. So we're just going to keep it like this for now. Um, we'll take this, put it below. Paragraph. This should be an H1. I think it automatically is if it's a title. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to say call now. We, we definitely need to change the way this looks because it looks awful. Um, so that we're going to do a tell number, 805, like that, I believe. I don't know if you have to put a one in front of it. I think you can just do it like that. And then button says call now. Um, Design, let's do, can we make this like a different color or something white? Okay, but then we have to make the text white uh, or black. Let's do white and then text black and body text. See, this is why I don't like, um, this is why I prefer uh, easier website builders because I don't know, it's just so clunky to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. Well, I guess we'll center it. Like, do you see how much time you have to put into just getting this stuff to do what you want it to do? Like, yeah, you have more options, but I don't really want more options. I just want it to be easy, right? Text, images, text, center. I don't even know. Sign, button. I think at, with this, I'll probably just end up hiring a designer because I don't, I really hate messing with this type of stuff. Like even just trying to center the button here, you can see it's like, okay, I'm going to have to go figure out. All right, whatever. So I guess let's try to make this a little bit more full width or something. Um, layout, make full screen. Oh, I don't want it full screen. That's too big. I want it full width. Content, text. Design text, we want spacing, sizing, content width. It's already at 100%, that's weird. Yeah, I can't stand this stuff. Um, okay, well, I guess we're gonna just leave it like this because at least it has the button. It has way too much text here though. That text down here. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna do save for now. <clears throat> Is Divi a page builder or a WordPress theme template? It's both. It's a it's a template, a theme, but it's also a, a builder. <clears throat> Um, so annoying. I just want it to be, cause it looks so bad, but I guess there's not really much we can do right now. Oh, now it's just bugged. Look at this. Just looks so bad. It doesn't even look like remotely good. It's like so bad. Um, and normally with spacing, there's usually some sort of way to, but I almost even think that we should just, while they don't really have much traffic, just put this on something like Duda. <clears throat> I might even recommend that to them because it's just so bad. I think I'm gonna tell them that. Cause like, <clears throat> even when we had it set up before, it didn't look good. Like this, it's not like it looks much worse cause it's already, already looked bad before. But it's, it's hard to convince people to change their theme. Cause like, they're like, well, I spent $5,000 on it. And it's like, uh, well, well, you spent $5,000 on something that doesn't work very well. All right, we're just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it. We'll just put the call. We'll just put the buttons here for now. And then if they want to do something else about it, that's up to them, right? Maybe make the text a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to make the text bigger. I can't even do that. So weak. Oh God. All right. Do that for now. And we're gonna just go ahead and save this to, what is it? Heading section SEO. We can just go put it on other pages really quick and swatch. Swap those out. Um, we're going to need to change the title on this. So let's go to that. do that. Oh, that took me to. WordPress to me just feels so old and clunky. All right. So we're changing this to what was it? Santa Barbara Nursery Garden Supply. Okay, we got that in the title. We're gonna go press, I'm gonna say call today. So we can fit that in there. Press update, and then we're gonna go to the search console so we can get it indexed. Add keyword to WP title two. Well, I think that, yeah, that should, we just did that, right? So let's go to pro current supply. Make sure that works. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. It works. Okay, so we got it working. 
Uh, let's see, what else do we got to do? So now we got that. Let's go put this into get indexed. <clears throat> Jefferson says I've been playing around with Duda for building my SEO site and I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, Duda's awesome. Or even Squarespace, yeah. Again, it's just easier. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with WordPress. The only thing that I don't like about WordPress is just how long it takes to do things. I mean, you saw it, how long it took just to put this up here, right? And even then, it's like, you know, you still have to customize it. I I, I think that there's, there's a good thing about having a bunch of freedom to, like, edit a bunch of stuff. But I also think that having too many options can also be unnecessary. And it just takes away from your productive time. Like sometimes just having the template is easier to meet for me. Okay, URL was indexed. So basically now what we do is you we just go to the other pages and we put call buttons on all of them, right? So um, like for instance, bulk materials, same thing. We'd go to edit page. And now we have that thing, that header there that we should be able to just put in um, I think we can go like this, boom, add from library. And I believe, oh, you know what? It needs to be, it can't be this type of header. It needs to be a blue one, I think. Blue, is it regular or full width? I think it was full width. Add from library. Uh, One second. See, you have to remember which color it was too. Like what? Oh, ah. I hate Divi. I hate WordPress. Um, add from library. There we go. There it is. So now we can bring that up. <laughs> Just drag it. Boom. And then this time we change it to uh, whatever the keyword is. So it was mulch Santa Barbara. And then we're going to change, we're going to, we need to optimize for this, right? So we're going to go back into our editor, go like that, go like that, mulch Santa Barbara, see what we get. Soon says, can anyone here say that organic traffic from SEO is their strongest lead generator? Been trying many different things, but I was just wondering. Well, I think it also depends on, um, on uh, where you're, you know, what keywords you're going for. Because like, if you're getting organic traffic for things around, like let's say SEO in your town, it's probably not gonna do very well. So it looks like it gave us that same sort of text that we already had on the other page. So maybe we should say, um, buy mulch in California and see what happens. Generate. I definitely think the AI needs something. I don't know exactly what. So this just pulled directly from just Santa Bar. So you see, it didn't even say anything about mulch. It just pulled directly for Santa Barbara. But I think it's because it's taking existing content. Let's say like why you should buy mulch. See what happens there. Mulch creates an ideal environment for plants to thrive. Okay, so boom, do that. Um, see if there's nothing. Okay, so let's go to Edit page up oh, here, put that there. And then we're going to say our bulk materials at our 
Santa Barbara Nursery. And then we're going to link back back to the home page so we can get internal links going. Um, so then now that's different enough so that we can save it. And then if we go to edit the page, I should have taken that title right there. But if we were like on any other platform right now, this would have been done. Like all of the, pretty much all of the pages would have been done by now, just because it takes so much longer to do it on this stuff. Um, sorry, I tried to take that. Boom, boom, uh, contact us now. Okay, we carry bulk garden materials. We carry bulk garden materials and mulch. Okay, so now we'll save that and we could do something here. I think at the very least, I know how to change the, the color of the background up here just so it doesn't look as generic. I think I can do that. Let's see, boom, background. Maybe just make it like a light gray. It's better than nothing. Is it gonna change it for me? Didn't do anything. Do this, design background. So many layers, advanced. Background, see this isn't even showing. This stuff drives me nuts, by the way, if I didn't already say that. Just makes me want to go insane. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, well, I guess we're keeping it this color because there's literally. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's because we put. We put some sort of other background here. It was layout. No, it was. Um, it was overlay or something, right? There it is. All right. Um, I also want to I also want to uh, change that menu so that it's higher up. What I mean by that is like go to menus and bring the products. I don't really feel like that's products, is it? Oh, I guess it is. And then specials plus discounts. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't. We don't need that. Let's take that out. It's just extra stuff in the menu to confuse people. There we go. A little bit more simplified now. Um, oh, we need to set up a redirect on that contact page still too. Let's change this background really quick. I'm gonna take out this slider cause it's doing nothing for us. And let's go ahead and do this.
I should just take that color up there. Can I take, is there a way to click on that color up there? I have to inspect the element, I think. Inspect element color. Give me the color. Color, color, color. There we go. There it is. Copy, and now we're gonna go like this, boom. We should just put that on all the headers, I think. There we go. I don't even really like that announcement bar up there. I think we should take it off. It's just extra stuff that we don't need just to distract people. So we're gonna go and change that as well. If I can figure out how to change the announcement bar. So I think we go appearance, what is it? Plugins, appearance, customize. Uh, settings, announcement bar, announcement bar. Where's the announcement bar? Um, announcement bar. Where the heck is it? Users, plugins, appearance, settings. Like, do you see how many options are in here? It's insane. Divi, theme options, uh, announcement bar, maybe. Bar. Bar layout. Navigation, ads, SEO, integration, layout. So many options. Navigation, SEO, ads, integration, updates. I think it's the customizer. So many freaking options. Okay, so general header, header format, no. Um, buttons, blog, mobile styles, color schemes, menus. Uh, we want. All settings. See, this is the other thing is um, with a lot of the other builders, all you have to do is click on the thing you want to edit and it'll just, it'll, it'll know that you're trying to edit the header. this example together. So we're gonna, and you could go in a, a button to actually use all that code from a bar to just be. Like you literally have to um, watch tutorials just to figure out like small parts of the tool. Um, here we go. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We still have the green up there. I don't know why. Primary menu bar. Um, active link color, drop down. Oh, want that to be a little, a little bit bigger. Wait, the email just went in there, went back in there, and I just took it out. Oh, that's the secondary menu bar. So can we take that out? Oh, I guess you just make it the same color. And then you hide the email, which somehow popped back in there. I don't know how. Okay, there we go. So now if I go and make the header, pull it up, wait. <laughs> so crazy. I just wanna push it up. I guess we can't do that. So I guess this is the best we're gonna be able to do for this for now. Okay, so you can bring that up and then increase the, oh my God. Whatever, we're not gonna freak out about this right now because I just don't really have the time to. So that's good for now, publish. And the, even the image is like off to the right some for some weird reason. Okay, so we got this, we got the number, we got the, some of the products. There's a lot of products in here. We're gonna need to combine some of them. 
Um, contact, we still need to do a redirect. Bulk materials, we got that done. And I like to keep the different products with somewhat different coloring just because otherwise every single page looks exactly the same, which you don't want. Um, what time are we at? 45 minutes. Okay, so let's just do a couple of these other pages. Fruit trees, we're gonna go do that. Uh, we're gonna go edit, enable visual. So we're going to do that, bring it up. Oh my gosh. I hate Divi so much. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Let's change this over and it was fruit trees, Santa Barbara. Okay, um, we're gonna grab, we're gonna try this out with AI again. Let's see how it goes. Fruit trees, Santa Barbara, let's see what we get. I think it's gonna give us that same weird text. Where do you get your content? Well, right now we're trying out the AI feature in Shine Ranker. Okay, so it did fruit trees. It didn't do anything about Santa Barbara, but whatever. And then it repeats again. Look, boom, fruit trees are most popular. Many people are looking for ways to make money from blogging. That's weird. I think it it's referencing some of the content in here. Yeah, I need to figure out how this script's being written because I have zero clue. Let's go check and make sure it's unique. Looks like it's unique. And we got to go back into the post like that. Yeah, you see, that's funny. It's talking about investment. So it's 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 referencing some of the content in there, which which is interesting. Um, Save that. Do an in-depth three on it. Oh. That didn't even have a title tag. Find Divi leaves you vulnerable um, with the way you set your H tags. You think you have the tags set to H2. Yeah. Well, it's actually, <clears throat> that's a good reminder. Let's see if the, these are H1s at, at the very least. Okay, at least they're H1s. Is this an H1 as well? That's also an H1, so we need to get rid of that. But do you see, like, it's taken me almost an hour just to change three pages. We would have literally been done with every single page right now on Squarespace or on Duda. So it is what it is. So, yeah, there's certain pages that we don't really care about, like Edible Garden, I think. Whoop. Let me go into here, Fruit Trees, Edible Garden. I don't think that has anything. 
So I think that we might as well just put on the homepage or something. Let's see. Edible garden. Yeah, there's nothing there. So let's go. We're going to take that. Now, this is one cool thing. I don't, I think you can do this with other builders, but this is one of the cool things about Divi, I will say, is that you can go and uh, save, or you can copy this section, and then we're going to put this on the homepage just so we can get more content. Cut it down <clears throat> here. Or wait, can I just paste it? Hold on, there should be a way, I believe, copy section and then I can paste section, right? Paste. Yeah, there we go, cool. So this, I think we kind of want in the footer and I think we already, oh. Why did that? <clears throat> Why did that disappear? Hold on. Paste section. So we already kind of have. Why is it doing that? Oh, well, I don't know. Supplies, citrus, soil amendments. Okay. I don't really know what these images are here for. They're kind of weird. Um, and I guess these are clickable. Let's just save this. The way this website's made is very interesting. So these are all, <laughs> they're just pictures of the fruits. Okay. Um, so we're gonna get rid of this page because we don't need it. Holy cow, my battery is running low on my phone. Move that to trash. Um, okay, so now we deleted this page, I believe. Keep track of that. So now we should have less stuff in here. Fertilizers and pest control, gardening tools. Uh, Santa Barbara gardening tools. Did we request to get that last one indexed? What was this? Bulk material? No, I don't think we did the other one. Let's do fruit trees. Oh, we didn't put a um, qualifier or call to action in there. So let's do get a tree. Chase, how much traffic is this site getting? Um, not a lot. I mean, let's go see. Thirty to forty visits a day. Not a lot. That's why we're here. Okay, so we got all this. Products, bulk materials, fruit trees, fertilizers. We're going to do um, gardening tools as the next one because I think that one's more important. And then we're going to probably take that fertilizer page because I believe they don't really care about pest control. I don't think, I'm not sure I need to double check on that. Wait, did I request to get an index? No, I still haven't done it. Okay, let's go do that here, fruit trees.
Is this a physical store location? Yes. Oh, stretch. All right, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have somebody do the rest of this for me because, like, a lot of it's basically the same thing over and over. But that's pretty much it um, for now. If you guys have any questions about what we covered, let me know in the comments. Um, if you're watching the replay in this later, um, I try to answer my comments. Um, and uh, if you want me to keep doing videos like this, let me know. Leave a like. Um, Chase, why not opti just optimize our GMB? Well, we're gonna do that too. But biggest thing is stopping the leak, like. They have a good conversion rate on their GMB. They have like a one to 2% conversion rate on their website. So a lot of the reason why is because they weren't very clear about what they were doing or selling. So um, now they are on a lot of their main pages. So we, we're going to keep going through these and doing that. But for now, that's what we got. So thanks for stopping by guys. We'll see you in the next one until we do. Happy SEOing. And by the way, if you want to check out the new Shine Ranker AI feature, It'll be out very soon. Um, just testing a little bit more. I'm going to send the updates to the devs so they can tr see what's going on. And uh, hopefully we'll have a um, even better tool in the near future. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy SEOing. We'll see you guys. Bye.